welcome everyone to today's live session. We are starting off by doing Reiki for the collective to get you into the receiving mode of abundance, prosperity, money, wealth. In a little bit here, we will be getting into personal Reiki healing sessions for those of you who have any areas of concern in health and wealth and relationships. are first come first serve so go ahead and get in line by going to the link in my bio clicking mini reiki session and we will get started on those in a moment abundance, wealth, and prosperity. This is the best live stream to tap into. Let me know who you are in the chat by leaving a money bag symbol or any other form of prosperity and abundance and good fortune that you seek.
it has been quite difficult for you to get into the receiving mode and you find yourself manifesting, 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 praying, 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 thinking, 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 desiring, 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 and nothing has come to fruition yet, chances are you have an energy block that is keeping you from being in the receiving mode or aligning to that vibration of prosperity, of abundance, of money. If that has been you, leave me a little raising hand emoji in the chat. You've been doing your best to manifest a new job. Maybe some interviews are lined up, but none of them have stuck yet. Manifesting money can be as easy as manifesting anything else. So really keep in mind today where you are feeling this Reiki energy being sent to. Are you feeling it in your root? Are you feeling it in your sacral, solar plexus, your heart space, your throat, your third eye, or your crown? Wherever you are feeling the Reiki today could mean that you have an imbalance wherever it is being felt the most in your body. From there, you can have me tap into your energy, heal that blockage personally, or you can begin the healing process by yourself and take healing into your own hands to locate, address, and heal the blockages keeping you from experiencing the abundance that you prefer. Process, it is important to keep your energetic system in mind and keep it in balance as well. The key to manifestation is allowing yourself to clear any blockages going on in your energy centers. of you unfamiliar with your energy centers, we'll go ahead and do a bit of a review so you can do an assessment and see where it is that you may have imbalances in your being. Your root chakra is located at the base of your spine and trickles all the way down to the bottoms of your feet. Your sacral is underneath your navel, right by your reproductive organs. Your solar plexus is above your navel, in your belly or gut. Your heart space is in the middle of your chest. Throat space in the middle of your neck. Third eye in between the brows. And crown your scalp and above. centers are, let me know in the chat where you are feeling this Reiki energy, and know that these are probably the areas that need some work. to healing yourself and taking healing into your own hands. Awareness is just step one of the process. You have to be able to locate where this imbalance or blockage is, purge the trauma, 
the unhealed or unprocessed emotions or trapped energy in whatever area it is that you have assessed and then fill that area with positivity, with peace, with harmony, balance. And from there you can maintain the beautiful healing work that you've done. You always have two choices when it comes to healing any blockages that you have. You can have a practitioner heal you, or you can do it by yourself if you know how. If you do not know how, one of the best resources that is available for you is called Beyond Balance. It is a four-week self-paced program where you're able to heal your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies using different healing techniques from both Reiki and Native American tradition. All of the information on that can be sent to you if you DM me the word balance, or you can head to the link in my bio, click Beyond Balance, and learn more. In through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. As we are on the topic of prosperity, abundance, money, wealth, and good fortune, we have to keep in mind what it's actually costing you to not know or develop the skill to healing yourself, or not know or develop the skill to understand where your energy centers are, where your blockages are, what the trauma is that is blocking that trauma, what is it costing you? I feel oftentimes as we experience and navigate life, it's easy for us to pinpoint what the issues and the problems are externally, but not as easy or common to pinpoint the issues or the problems that are going on internally that's causing that issue to begin with. So if you are experiencing issues with money or abundance. It's not an external issue, it's an internal issue. So what is it costing you to not know where your blockages are? What is it costing you to hold on to the trauma, to hold on to the pain, to hold on to the suffering? Is it causing you time with your kids? Is it causing you your patience? Causing you your peace? Is it costing you happiness? Is it costing you clarity? What is it costing you not knowing how to heal yourself? Let me know in the chat.
question from Daisy. Can you talk of body and soul? Can you talk balance of body and soul? It's important to recognize the difference between soul and spirit. Soul is a collection of all the memories and emotions from this life and all past lives. Spirit is that connection to source energy, to a higher level of consciousness, to collective wisdom. So when you're thinking of balancing your energy, those two are not the only two that you have to consider. You always want to consider your physical body, emotional body, mental body, and spiritual body. When you have this understanding of the four bodies, you know how to decompress the stress, anxiety, burnout, overwhelm, the negativity from each of these bodies, then you're able to bring yourself into a state of balance. This is exactly why I created the program called Beyond Balance to help you get beyond balance because once you are in balance internally with all of your energetic bodies, with all of your energy centers, that's when you can start to co-create with the universe on purpose with ease and accuracy. So it helps you to receive your manifestations. It helps you to receive the manifestations that you actually prefer and desire instead of accidentally manifesting more of what you don't want. So if you are trying to get into a new era of life, a new cycle, break out of old, unhealthy patterns, it is important that you know about these four bodies. And again, you bring healing to these areas. This is how you get beyond just in balance, you start to thrive. Your nervous system begins to regulate itself. Your body can kick into its own natural healing gear and take away a lot of the heavy work. If you are someone looking to bring more balance into your mind, your body, and your soul or spirit, then I invite you to Beyond Balance you can find more information through the link in my bio. For those of you currently manifesting abundance, wealth, and prosperity, be specific with me in the chat. What exactly are you manifesting at this time? With those manifestations in mind, keep in mind that nothing changes if nothing changes. If you are living a lifestyle currently that is not putting you into the receiving mode of your desires, it's not moving you forward, it's keeping you stuck or held back, you can't expect to receive those manifestations that you have in your mind to actualize to come to fruition. Something needs to change. So 
one thing to visualize or imagine your manifestations of prosperity, abundance, and wealth. It's another thing to have that turn from thought to matter. So ask yourself, what have I been doing lately to heal myself? What have I been doing lately to tap into my physical body, my emotional body, my mental body, my spiritual body? What strategy or plan or actions do I have in place to receive this desire? Am I just saying mantras and nothing else? Am I just doing the 369 method and nothing else? Am I just taking a whole bunch of action and nothing else? Manifesting does not have to be hard once you understand how energy actually turns from thought to matter. those of you who have just tuned in, hello and welcome. I have yet to introduce myself today, so here we go. My name is Melody Unique. I am an energy healer and spiritual mentor, and in today's live stream, we are working on healing the collective to get into the receiving mode of abundance, wealth, prosperity, and good fortune. Doing a little bit of manifestation chit chat as well because in my opinion in this society we really lack common knowledge when it comes to our own energy we're stuck chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing and efforting 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 suffering 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 and suffering without knowing exactly what our energy is doing how we can alchemize or heal ourselves for the better and how we can actually let go of what is causing us this pain and suffering, what is weighing us down. So that is my job, to help you understand your energy, to help you take healing into your own hands, to pinpoint where you may have some energy blockages, to help you tap in and tune into your intuition, translating messages from your spiritual team, to help you easily navigate life with confidence, with peace, with balance and harmony. In a moment here, we will get into personal Reiki healing sessions where I tap into your individual energy through my intuition and Reiki to see where you have blockages. So if you have issues with anxiety, what's the root cause of that anxiety in your being, in your body? And we will bring healing into that area. You will also receive a replay of your Reiki session to watch it over and over again, as well as some recommendations to maintain the healing work that we are doing today after the session. Reiki sessions are first come, first serve. So to get in line and save your spot, go to the link in my bio, hit mini Reiki session, and let me know your area of concern or manifestation.
there is anyone here who has already received a mini Reiki session from me in the past and have gotten some results, please go ahead and share that in the chat. So those who are new here or who are hesitant in trying out a Reiki session can understand the benefits and the impact of what just a mini Reiki session can do for you. Make sure that you are sitting up straight, everyone who is here right now. Allow yourself to plant your feet firmly on the ground, feeling supported, feeling that base, that foundation of security beneath you. Really tap into every single one of your bodies today. Tap into the physical body by aligning your spine from root to crown, taking your shoulders, rolling them up, back and down so that they're laying nicely in their socket. Unclench your jaw by separating your teeth. Place your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Relax all the muscles of the face and all the muscles of the body down to the fingertips and the toes. Take a moment here to assess what's going on in your physical body. Do a scan from head to toe. What is hurting you? Where is there discomfort or tension? Where are you experiencing stress or anxiety or overwhelm in the body? Take in a couple breaths here. Get into the receiving mode of your own intuition. to your emotional body, offering a listening ear to your heart space, seeing what your heart has to say to you at this time. What are the emotions that you've been suppressing? What are the emotions that you've been hiding away from, trying not to face? What are those shadows within you? here. Next up is your mental body where many of you like to stay and only stay in. It's easy to escape when we are focused so much in the mind. What is your mental body trying to tell you? Where is your mindset at? What beliefs are no longer serving you at this time? Take a couple deep breaths here. Let's connect to our spiritual bodies, our higher self, our spiritual team, collective wisdom. What are any messages, downloads, or codes that you need to hear right now? Any advice, guidance, or support from higher levels of consciousness? Open your mind to the possibilities, open your mind to the suggestions.
take a deep breath in. Go ahead and let us know in the chat. This is something that I personally like to do myself and always train my clients to do first thing when they wake up in the morning and right before they go to bed. Just to make sure that you are receiving all of the information that is coming from the subtle, subtle, subtle parts of your being. That's the reason I haven't been able to hit my monthly goals. Maybe there are some emotions that you have not been facing. And those emotions could be the key to you receiving the abundance that you seek. that emotion is just energy in motion. It is not meant to be stuck or stagnant in the body. It is meant to be fluid, to bring you a message and then be released. For those of you feeling this Reiki energy at this time, go ahead and share some energy back with me. Leave me a message in the chat. You can share this live stream with anyone else who needs a little bit more of abundance and prosperity and wealth in their life. And if you aren't following already, go ahead and give a follow so that you're able to maintain and continue your healing journey with me. We'll be getting into mini sessions in just a little bit. So in order for you to save your spot in line so I can tap into your energy and begin to heal any blockages or imbalances that you have, as well as translate any spiritual messages from your spiritual team, you can go to the link in my bio, hit mini live sessions, and we will get started. Remember to breathe in deep and through the nose. No.
as far as I know, I don't have Native American lineage, but I've also never done that swab test to know for sure. But I do have an indigenous background being Puerto Rican, as well as I am a part of a shamanic apprenticeship where I've been learning about Native American traditional healing from both North and South America for the past three years. Soul simplicity, you've melted away a headache I've had of most of the evening. Thank you from a fellow Reiki master. Beautiful. Very happy to hear that. My pleasure. Something that I forgot to mention earlier is that I'm starting something a little bit new. For any of you who decide to purchase the Beyond Balance program during the live stream, I will give you a free mini Reiki session as a thank you. So just keep that in mind today as we work on your energy. At this time, I am going to be transitioning into mini live sessions. So whoever is wanting a mini live session, go to the link in my bio and first come first serve. Let's go ahead and see who we have so far. If you're still on the fence about getting a mini Reiki session, you can typically ask in the chat what the benefits are as there, there are many, um, but definitely listen into other people's Reiki healing sessions so you have a little bit more of an understanding of how they work and how things go down so that you can really feel more comfortable with that process. If you're someone who typically watches a lot of Reiki videos on YouTube or here on TikTok but you've never received a Reiki healing session before, this is one of the best options that you have available and at a fairly good price if I do say so myself. I've been a Reiki practitioner for over four years and a spiritual mentor for just about the same amount of time. The energy that I'm able to send your way is very potent very intense and works rather instantaneously. Now, the Reiki energy that I'm sending to you here on this live stream is not a one-size-fits-all pill. It's a magic pill that after a few minutes, everything in your life is going to become perfect. This is an accumulative service, which means that you have to maintain this healing energy with your behavior, with your lifestyle, with your practices, with your routine. If you are unsure of how to maintain the healing energy after the sessions, I always give you recommendations, but just know that the more that you're exposed to healing energy, the longer lasting those benefits are. For anyone who does get a personal healing session with me, you are guaranteed that this healing energy lasts within your system for at least 10 days, whereas other Reiki practitioners, it usually lasts within your system for only seven days. So we're really here to get to the root cause of certain issues that are going on in your life. So health issues, wealth issues, relationship issues, I've seen them all. I've been healing them all for a long, long time. So if you do not know me or who I am, hopefully that gives you a little bit more comfort in tapping into something like this. Okay, again, let me go ahead and check my list and refresh this. Okay, so Melanie, we have you here. And confidence seems to be like the only thing <laughs> that you're interested in. So you're like, confidence, confidence, confidence. I love it. So we're going to go ahead and tap in. Melanie, I'm going to have you consent out loud in your head or even in the chat. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. So yes, I'm definitely sensing some underactivity, almost blocked energy. It's like so underactive is about to get into a blocked state of that solar plexus of yours. I am also sensing a little bit of underactivity in the sacral as well, but nothing too far off of its normal flow state, if you will. Um, 
definitely gonna work on the root for you too to help you feel more secure. Um, when you work on the root and the solar plexus, we're really able to make you feel um, a higher amount of self-esteem and we're able to make you feel a lot more centered, a lot more grounded, which I can just tell from your energy, you may be a little bit more of an emotional person. Maybe you are a water sign or someone who is very free in expressing their emotions and I can sense that from the heart space, but at the same time, a lot of that water energy can be unstable if it's not also balanced with those other elements. And so we want to make sure that we're focusing on balancing a lot of that water energy within your being with the earth element and with the fire element as well. The earth element resonating with the root chakra and the fire element resonating with that solar plexus. So let's go ahead and tap in. If there are any messages from your spirit guides, I will translate them for you, let you know what those are. A lot of inner dialogue work is what your spirit guides are letting me know. So really seeing yourself in a new light, a fresher light, it seems that you have been um, conditioning yourself to only pick out your flaws, only pick out your insecurities, only focus on the lack of skill or the lack of talent or the lack of whatever it is that you're focusing on too much of at this time, instead of allowing yourself to reintroduce yourself to yourself. It's very much so a time to um, retell your life story from a new perspective. It's time for you to understand all of the goodness of who you are, all of the positive attributes, all of the positive traits. And you also seem like a person who probably doesn't um, receive compliments very well or easily. Maybe you're someone who refuses to say thank you for a compliment because you don't believe it or you try to change the subject right away or compliment the other person right away so that you're taking that focus off of you and shifting it on to them. That that is a way that you're blocking your blessings, you're blocking your manifestations. When people are giving you compliments, use that as energetic currency and really absorb that compliment in a positive way as much as you can because again, you could very well be blocking some of your blessings. So tapping into the earth element, using earth's medicine, it's very important for you at this time as well, making sure that you're grounding your energy through the bottoms of your feet with skin to earth contact at least 20 minutes, two times a day. That's going to be very helpful. That and allowing yourself to commune more with the element of fire to inspire a lot more growth, change, transformation to break apart any of that stagnant energy within your being that is causing you to feel less than, causing you to feel weighed down, causing you to feel negative about yourself. All of the information to use the elements to cleanse and protect your energy can be found at the top of my page, link in my bio. It is called Protect Your Energy Using the Five Elements. So I will link this in your email after the session so that you have that as a resource. I'm going to have you continue to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're going to break apart a little bit of this energy that is just kind of lingering around your mind, your mentality, your crown, your third eye. So you can really start to see yourself in a brand new way. Now, I also say this, it's important to get into new environments, to see yourself differently, to learn who you are at this day and time instead of bringing in a lot of past memories of being maybe a failure or making mistakes or again being insecure and less than. Allow yourself to step into new environments, communicate with new people, try out new activities, build new skills, take new classes. 
that is a way where you can really build more confidence and self-esteem because you're seeing yourself differently and you'll be like wow i can actually do this or maybe i'm not so great at it the first time but the more i practice i can see myself getting better and that is going to add to your confidence bank if you will i always say that self-worth is currency and that's so important because if you have low self-worth if you have low confidence you have low life force energy, you have low willpower. You, when you have low willpower and low vitality, your manifestations are slow to come to you. Your magnetism is also very weak. You're unable to attract certain things into your reality with ease because it's like your battery pack, that solar plexus, your self-esteem, your confidence, your willpower without much battery in that battery pack, it's gonna feel very challenging for you to get what you want out of life. And so if you're trying to manifest a new career, if you're trying to manifest a new partner with a very underactive or even blocked solar plexus, that could take a lot of time. Or on the flip side, you could be manifesting these things, but they're always temporary. You could feel like that romantic partner is gonna leave any second, you're very anxious, or maybe you have a whole bunch of short flings, but nothing ever long-term or long-lasting. Same thing with your job and career. Maybe you're getting a whole bunch of interviews, but you're never really landing the position. Maybe you feel like the least charismatic person in the room or the least outgoing person in the room or least interesting person in the room. That's all due to a weakened solar plexus. I'm gonna go ahead and leave some Reiki symbols here on those areas. I'm gonna leave some on the lower three for you and also one on the crown. Breathe in three times in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. through the nose and out through the mouth beautiful so melanie that is all that i have for you i'm going to go ahead and close you out and i will say again the best resources that i have for you at this time to amplify a lot of that confidence and self-esteem and willpower energy within your being is going to be either one of two things one is what i've already mentioned getting into that earth element getting into that fire element and using the protect your energy video which i will link in your email or that video is already inside of my program Beyond Balance. And in Beyond Balance, the very first week, we talk about the physical body and we talk about the lower three energy centers. And those were the lower three, those were the most important energy centers that your spirit guides wanted to touch on today. So within this very first week, if you were to sign up to Beyond Balance today, you would go through the orientation so you have an understanding of what the program is gonna um, help you transform in your life. And then we start with that week one right away where not only you get to learn how to heal yourself from the inside out, but there's also pre-recorded Reiki videos in there where I heal you from the outside in. So you're really getting a well-rounded amount of healing energy to make sure that you are feeling solid, you're feeling confident, you're tapping and tuning into your inner child, you're allowing yourself to feel more free, and you're allowing yourself to, again, build that confidence and establish more of that energetic currency, aka self-worth. If you have any questions about the Beyond Balance program or or even the Protect Your Energy video, you can always email me or ask me any questions through the DM, but that's all that I have for you at this time. So thank you so much for allowing me to tap into your energy today. Does anyone resonate with Melanie's energy healing session? Anyone dealing with some confidence issues? Anyone dealing with having those romantic partnerships maybe be short flings and nothing that is ever long-term or long-lasting. Maybe you're someone who is um, feeling like you don't have that much magnetism in terms of attracting a certain lifestyle, attracting a person, attracting new friend groups.
that's a huge one too, external validation. A lot of the times that we're feeling lack of confidence or lack of self-esteem, it's actually because we are using external validation as our primary source of validation instead of self-validating. Turning to our innate value, understanding how much we are really worth to ourselves, how much we're really worth to this life in general. Why would you be sent here? Why would you be experiencing this life if you weren't meant to be here, if you weren't worth, worthy enough of being here, deserving enough of being here? There is a reason that you are here. Whether you know that or believe that or not, there is a reason that you are here. And all you need is to validate yourself. That is how you can reclaim your power. The more that you're using external validation as a source to do something, a source to not do something, a reason to make a decision, a reason to take an action, you are decreasing your life force energy and you are decreasing your internal power as well. You are giving your power away to other people who are unstable, who are inconsistent, who maybe don't even know how to value you or respect you or how to treat you, how to love you. So be mindful if that is feeling like you lately or you've been dealing with self-esteem issues for a really long time. Tap into the element of fire. Tap into your solar plexus chakra. that you have about your healing journey, anyone dealing with some issues that they're looking for some guidance on, go ahead and leave me a question in the chat and we'll have a little discussion on it. How do I know where to even start on my healing journey? I'll tell you where I started if that helps you. I'll tell you a little bit about my story. The introduction to the spiritual world, to the healing world, is going to be different for everyone. So since you're already on this Reiki, you know, live stream, I'm sure that you're someone who watches some spiritual content and some healing content already. So you've probably dipped your toes into your own healing journey just by absorbing and observing this kind of content on your stream or on social media. So with that being said, the ways that spirituality were introducing themselves to me was primarily through crystals. I learned about crystals when I was a teenager and there was something so magical about them. I would go into salt caves and be with the pink Himalayan salt and kind of learn about energy just a little bit, but it wasn't until I was in my early 20s where I was really understanding within myself that there were some major issues going on. I was constantly attracting the wrong people in my life who didn't care about me. I was someone who was suffering from an anxious attachment style as well, so that just like put everything Thing, um, into a bad place for me in terms of friendships, family um, relationships, and as well romantic relationships. I was someone who was suffering through a lot of PTSD, depression, and anxiety to the point where I was getting um, into a lot of panic attacks where I was feeling shooting, stabbing pains in my chest and in my heart, and I had no idea what was going on. I was so sure I was having heart attacks, and I went to the hospital a couple times. Like, no, it's just stress, it's just anxiety. So I'm like, oh, great, this sucks, I hate this. And I got to a point where enough was enough and I really needed to end my suffering. And I say this now all blase, blase, but when I was going through it, it was so detrimental to my mental health and to my emotional health. I had no idea really about what mental health or emotional health even was. And so through that journey, I discovered energy healing and I started with the chakras and that's exactly why every single piece of content that I have is talking about the energy centers because everything that you're experiencing in your external reality is just a reflection of what's going on within you internally and when I say internally I'm talking about your energy centers and your chakra system so from there I learned that it's very um common to have the depression to have the anxiety to have these anxious um 
thoughts even about, you know, life and death and relationships and really everything. Like I would be someone who was so highly sensitive to everyone else's energy and my moods would change all the time. I was never at peace. I was never consistent. Someone could tell me one thing and I would completely screw it up in my mind and interpret it as something to be offended by. It was a whole slew of things. And so when I understood that it was because of my energy centers, that was one of the very first things that I worked on. And I worked on healing my energy centers every single day for about a year. And I was not attuned to Reiki yet. So I was just using my own healing energy, just learning and doing research by myself and purging this trauma that was in my energy centers. After about a year of doing this straight and consistently, I was able to tap into my intuition in a way that was completely spot on and accurate. And then I felt so incredibly different. So, 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 so incredibly different. I felt like I had my whole entire spiritual team behind my back. I felt that they were just supporting me every single step of the way and it led me to making very drastic decisions. I moved out of a very toxic uh, relationship and home. I traveled back to my hometown. I started a whole entire business after I felt stable enough to show others the way as well. And once I started doing all of that, then I was like, okay, let me go ahead and figure out how to heal people in a different way other than teaching them how to heal themselves. So I learned about Reiki, I learned about Native American traditional healing techniques. And so I say all of this is to answer your question and energy centers are a great place to start. Everything happens through your energy centers. That is how we create this life is through the energy centers. How you manifest is through the energy centers. So if you have no idea about your energetic system, if you have no idea about your chakras, then it's time to learn about that first and foremost and I have all the resources um, for that. I'm not the only one who has resources for that. There are many different options for you to turn to but if you do feel connected to me and my energy, the way that I speak, the way that I teach or maybe you've even had a healing session done by me before and you trust me to show you the way and to show you different practices and techniques that I've learned not only to heal myself but heal others too, then make sure that you're reaching out to me. We'll have a conversation. I'll send you some resources and recommendations to help help you out on your journey. I feel like there are a couple comments in between me rambling. So did I do this by meditating? Meditating was part of the process, doing different mudras, allowing myself to um, connect again to my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual body is everything that I talk about beyond balance for those of you guys who are um, showing up here rather consistently on my live streams whenever i talk about the physical emotional mental and spiritual bodies whenever i talk about chakras whenever i talk about energy cleansing whenever i talk about bringing balance into the whole body and the beyond balance program all of that is what i learned and so yes meditating a little bit of breath work different mudras purging energy, connecting to your spiritual team, energy cleansing using the five elements, different mindset sh mindset shifts and different perspectives, um, understanding limiting beliefs and really tapping into the emotional body is so important, but also never neglecting the physical body in the process as well. I find a lot of times when um, I have clients who are interested in my programs and sign up for them. They have a very strong spiritual inclination, but they're wondering why everything else in their life isn't working out the way that it's supposed to. And I find that a lot of people ignore or neglect their physical body and the physical body cannot be neglected or ignored because it is the only material, right? It's the only tangible and physical part of this experience that you have with all the energy bodies. So essentially your physical body is the vessel, is the holder of the emotional, mental, and spiritual body. So whenever I see people kind of going too far into space and really always trying to tap into their intuition, but they're not grounded, they're not feeling present, they're not being accepting of their reality, they're too far into the future, they're too far into the past, it's typically due to not being connected to the physical body in the physical form. What connects you to the physical body and to the physical form and to this physical reality, Mother Earth in general, is the lower three energy centers of the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus. We have the heart space, which is the bridge between both worlds of spirit and matter. And then we have the throat, the third eye, and the crown that connect you to the mental and spiritual planes as well. So you need the whole entire system to be in balance. And I will never stop teaching or preaching about this because it's not only helped 
me transform my life in just a short amount of time, but it's been able to help so many others as well. This is definitely my mission in life and um, not going back. I've always found a strong passion and pull towards this kind of healing because of the dramatic improvements I was able to make in my own life. Do you go live regularly? I go live as regularly as I possibly can. Sometimes it's not as easy to go live. I think last week I took a huge like 10 day break from it because sometimes I'll go every single day. Sometimes I just, you won't find me. <laughs> so it's very important to make sure that you're turning on notifications so that you get notified every single time I do go live. get one chakra at a time in the lower area to stay more present i typically like to have people and my clients tune into one chakra at a time just because it allows you to focus in on what's really going on and not to bypass anything um so like for instance too like if someone is feeling very blocked from receiving intuitive messages um, or understanding the language of their intuition or their spirit guides in general, sometimes they're gonna wanna go straight to the third eye and crown and they're like, I have a crown blockage, I have a third eye blockage. Sometimes it's not even about that. Sometimes you actually have to focus in on the root chakra to be able to open up the potential of connecting to earth ele uh, elements and earth energy so that you can open up these areas with much more ease. What happens sometimes with people who wanna connect to their intuition want to receive um, different downloads, codes, or maybe enhance their spiritual gifts and psychic abilities, they'll go straight into those areas and then overactivate them. And then what happens is that they essentially get scared right away or they're having inconsistencies. So people who are like, oh wow, like I keep having these like really, really bad nightmares ever since I turned to spirituality or I keep seeing a whole bunch of demons everywhere or I feel like there's a spirit that's, you know, trying to attack me or connect to me or like you're just having these very scary meditations. It's typically because you were not focused in on the root and understanding your own fears first, your own shadow self first. You were understanding the darker elements of who you are first, but then you're trying to access all of this, you know, ethereal realm it doesn't really work that way if you want to stay balanced if you want to stay connected if you want to stay grounded that's also too why you're going to see a lot of like cult leaders or a lot of people who are like oh i have all the answers for you or people who are um you know reading people and tapping into their energy without consent because they feel like they have these magical gifts but they're just so out of touch with like actual reality or people who are like oh yes i'm from this you know star system and i can't wait to go back home and it's like sometimes we need a little bit of that escapism but also being sure that you're grounding that down is super important this is your home for a reason this is your reality for a reason bring all of that magical energy that you're experiencing down and so that's why in my programs or when I'm working with people, my students, I'm always showing them a very specific way to heal and a very specific way to get into balance and peace and harmony so that they don't have to go through those other challenges of having an overactive crown or third eye for too long and feeling like, you know, they have to go into a different dimension and things like that. It's just, <laughs> I don't do that here. Um... Hi, Victoria. Welcome in. My human design shows that inconsistency in crown and third eye, focusing on my root and sacral in their own time, truly navigated the next steps. Beautiful. Very good. Uh, how do we navigate the difference between cult leaders versus true healers? Um, the pressure that you feel and using your own discernment. A lot of cult leaders and people who are trying to scam you or people who are trying to bring you into something that doesn't like actually give you long-lasting healing if that makes sense like i'm someone who's always preaching long-lasting healing i'm also someone who teaches you how to heal yourself i'm not saying that i'm like this one healer that can fix all your problems and as long as you keep getting a whole bunch of sessions with me you're always going to be fine in life like the dialogue is different the way that they're connecting to you feels different it should always be something that is your choice not that you feel coerced or manipulated by or solicited you know in any sort of way it's going to feel different it's going to sound different now the thing about some of those cult leaders or the thing about some of those people who are in that kind of spiritual world where they're not as grounded or maybe they just have these hidden intentions um 
they could be very charismatic. That's the thing. And they will prey upon people who feel very weak or vulnerable. And they will try to convince them of a certain lifestyle that everything can be fixed. Like, come run away with me. Or like, come just do all this stuff. Um, and a lot of them too will be like, oh, you have, you know, a spirit attached to you, but I can remove it. I'm the only one who can remove it. Things like that. And they'll try to fear monger you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. They'll also try to blame you for a lot of your spiritual process and a lot of your pain and suffering. Now, I do personally say that whatever happens in your external reality is typically due to a blockage in your inner reality. But in this kind of world that we live in, not everything is rainbows and sunshine. There are some things that happen that are chaotic and traumatic and things that are very dark and very negative and so we sometimes just living in this world experience those things and I would never say it's your fault that your trauma happened to you you know what I'm saying now if you are traumatized by something I'm someone who can help you work through that to purge that trauma so you don't have to repeat any certain cycles moving forward in your life but again it's a lot of those people who are trying to prey upon people who are traumatized prey upon people who are weaker who are more vulnerable and things like that that you have to be very mindful about also making sure that they're credible making sure that they have actual training or certifications is something that you want to take a look at too if you are trying to hire someone as a mentor or a coach or you're to follow someone as a spiritualist never put anyone on a pedestal never think that anyone's better than you you we all have these unique gifts so even though i'm someone who sits on here on live streams all the time and taps into people's individual energy and talks to their spirit guides i teach you how to do the same exact thing i again i'm not going to be someone that says i have all the answers i can do all this for you and you know you can't do it by yourself because i'm someone special i teach you how to do it for yourself so you don't have to rely on anyone else if people don't prefer to, you know, heal themselves or take healing into their own hands, they can always have a practitioner work with them. But those are kind of the ways that you can understand someone who is way far off and who probably is not going to help you or give you benefits um, or charge you super, super high prices without delivering the outcome that you're looking for. And then someone who is really here to help you progress as long as you're taking the steps, as long as you're, you know, following the guidelines or taking the advice and the guidance that they have set for you. Mm -mm -mm. I'm reading some of your comments. After watching yesterday's Reiki Live, I received new job offers. Thank you so much. Oh, beautiful, Priscilla. Happy to hear that. Yeah, also practitioners who are a little bit more gentle, practitioners who are humble, find practitioners and mentors and coaches who are humble. Also make sure that they have testimonials. They have people who have tried their work and have felt supported, have felt that they've received those benefits or the transformation that was promised and see those testimonials, see those reviews. Don't just listen to anyone kind of, you know, who doesn't have those to like back their things up or even personal testimonies. There could be spiritualists out there, people who can really help you, but they maybe don't have a lot of testimonials yet, but the testimonial that they have of themselves, how they healed themselves, how they worked on themselves, how they progressed themselves, how they're able to move forward by themselves and they want to help you and guide you because they're able to help themselves. That's also a great thing to look for as well. Can you do moon water on a cloudy night with the full moon? Yes. Beautiful. All right. We do have someone else who is waiting for their healing session. So let's go ahead and see. Great questions, by the way. Can you tap into someone's energy besides mine? Not without their consent. If it's like your dog or something like that or your pet, yes, I can tap into their energy. But if you were like, oh, I want you to send healing energy to my boyfriend and he has no idea about it, no, because I need consent. All right, Perla. So, Perla, your area of concern is releasing negativ uh, negativity and anger. So let's go ahead and tap into your energy, see what's going on here, what's causing this. Perla, I'm going to have you consent out loud in your head or even in the chat. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. 
The very first thing that I'm hearing from your spirit guides is green with envy. So what is it that you're feeling a little bit envious about? Is it a person? Is it a certain lifestyle? Um, are there family members, friends, romantic partners, coworkers, clients in your life who have something that you want? And be very, very honest with yourself. Sometimes being green with envy is not as obvious as it may seem. Sometimes people are like, well, I would know if I was being envious, but it's like all subconscious and it's coming out through the words or the attention or the judgment that you place on others. So have you been rather judgy lately? Have you been a little bit bitter lately? Be very honest with yourself because I'm, I saw a flash of green first and foremost and then your spirit guide said green with envy so there is something happening here so alongside with that anger that you may be feeling it could also be very induced by that envy a lot of times anger is a secondary emotion not a primary emotion so the envy or the jealousy or you being um you keeping a lot of comparison between your lifestyle and others could be a reason why you're also sensing this anger to begin with as well so we're going to go ahead and just clear some of that right away so I can tap into the rest because that is feeling like such a consuming vibration for you that I want to soothe that right away so I can tap into the other energy centers. I'm going to have you breathe in deep down to the belly and out through the mouth. Okay, so now I'm sensing more of the throat energy. So of course, whenever I see the throat being impacted, make sure that you are using your words wisely. Whoever it is that you're venting to, whoever it is that you're being, um, if you're gossiping, like things like that, if you're venting to people, if you're gossiping, if you're talking about yourself negatively, if you're talking about other people negatively, do your best to minimize that get into your heart space more and tap into the truer feelings that you're feeling because I do sense a lot of this outward maybe aggression is too much of a strong word but I am sensing like either it's aggression or like forthrightness or you being someone who doesn't really hold back maybe your tongue is a little bit more harsh maybe you like to snap at people or kind of read people to filth or something like that or it's at least something that's an easier trait for you I do see a lot of energy that's very forward a little bit more masculine a little bit more aggressive if you will and it is impacting your energy very negatively it's weakening your immune system it's weakening your energetic field so that means that you can be triggered and frustrated and annoyed and agitated a lot easier i think this is exactly what's tapping into that or fueling that anger within you yes be very mindful who it is that you're venting to because people talk and the more that you talk to other people, the more that they can talk to other people as well. And now your name is out there, your name is all around, and then that could be draining your energy too. So you were saying releasing negative energy. Yeah, so negative energy could be being sent back to you because of what you're releasing. So do not be the source of the, oh, the, the, the negativity that's being sent to you, the negativity that you are feeling. I do think it's time for you to have more peace, quiet, and stillness with yourself. I'm hearing from your spirit guides, it's not easy or common for you to actually ask yourself some questions or vent to yourself or get to the bottom of what you're feeling. It seems that you react, 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 and you don't do as much of a reflection and observing. I think it's something that is rather uncomfortable for you. Get more comfortable with it. It takes time. It takes practice it takes patience but the more that you're able to sit with yourself and vent to yourself or vent to your higher self vent to your spirit guides the more that you're able to reflect on why it is that you're really 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 feeling that emotion the better off you're going to be for it and the more that you do that kind of internal work the easier it's going to be for you to release that energy and not hold on to it as much 
all of that energy is gonna weigh you down eventually. I'm also sensing, I'm not sure if you're breaking out um, in terms of acne or hives or eczema, psoriasis, anything like that, but your skin um, may be changing in texture and it's due to this very thing as well. So be mindful of, again, um, the energy that you're holding on to. So to help you release, you must energy cleanse. You must tap into the five elements of earth, fire, water, spirit, and air. For you at this time, earth is going to be great to release a lot of that anger and that negativity. Water is going to be great to cool you down because anger is a little bit more of that um, warm, hot, agitating kind of energy very stimulating energy it needs to be cooled down a little bit more so bringing more of that water like element into your life so that could be creating moon water that could be standing in the rain that could be programming your bath water or shower water to release that negativity for you that could be using kananga water or florida water to give yourself a little bit of a spiritual bath if you will spiritual um spray and release so that you can really shed these things but you have to get into the practice of releasing and decompressing this energy that you no longer want, that's no longer serving you. If you don't know how to do these things, I will leave you recommendations in your email. And you can also go to the link in my bio to check out the Beyond Balance program, which I'm going to recommend for you in a little bit. But I want to silence myself now that we've received all these messages. Heart space, throat, and the root are what I'm really feeling for you. So I'm going to have you breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Two more breaths. Very good. Writing Reiki symbols here to help you with gentleness, with ease, with patience, with stillness, with calm. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and close you out. So again, Perla, energy cleansing is going to be your best friend using earth or water energy or the elements of earth and water to help cool you down and release that negativity. But you have to know the practices that help you decompress this anger, that help you decompress this um, negativity outside of just energy cleansing as well. So if you're ready and willing to take healing into your own hands, I definitely suggest the Beyond Balance program. It is completely self-paced. No matter how busy of a schedule it is that you have, you're able to log in and do some of those modules, do some of those practices so that you understand how to let go because right now letting go is not in your vocabulary but what is in your vocabulary is spewing out the negativity that you're sensing emotionally because it is a form of release but sometimes it's counterintuitive because our words do hold weight our words do hold a frequency a vibration so the more that we're spewing out that negativity to other people it's manifesting more we don't want to manifest more of what we don't want we might want to manifest more of what we do want and what we do prefer so allowing yourself to come back into yourself come back into your center is the goal and then using different tools practices and techniques to decompress this anger and the negativity from your physical emotional mental and spiritual body is what's going to benefit you the most ultimately and give you the long-term results that you are looking for and again that is called the beyond balance program in that program i also do go over 
how to protect your energy using the elements. So you can either get the protect your energy video, which is just energy cleansing, or you can get the entire program that will help you with all of it. Okay. So again, that can be found in the link in my bio. If you are um, wanting to know more information about it right now, or you can wait until I send you the email with that link. So that's all that I have for you, Perla. Thanks so much for trusting me with your energy today. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to let me know. What is the best way to heal the heart chakra? So technically, if your root is in balance and your crown is in balance, the heart space will follow suit because your heart space is the bridge between both of those worlds of spirit and matter. And so keep that in mind. So then you're going to have to ask yourself the question, well, what is the best way to heal the root? One of the best ways to heal the root is through grounding your energy, having that skin to earth contact with mother earth, allowing the magnetic pull of the earth to detox you from all of the anxiety or the fear or the doubt, the lack that you are experiencing. So it's more important to understand how to heal all of the energy centers, starting from the root going all the way up to the crown, than it would be to just focus on using the one and the one only, especially too, because whatever's going on in the heart space may not be the root cause. So if you're dealing with maybe a lot of, let's just take into Perla's account, envy, right? I did feel envy in her heart, but I do believe tapping into her energy centers, the reason why she was feeling so much of it is because there was an imbalance going on in the root. And so the root was actually the source, but it was being reflected in the heart space. That's why it's so important to understand the whole entire energetic system and learn how to purge and release energy from every single one of those centers. Beautiful. Let me go ahead and see. Any other questions that you guys have or anyone resonate with Perla's um, healing session? What would be the best way to heal the solar plexus? So again, we want to make sure that we are healing all of the energy centers. And I wish I could give you super nuanced explanations of everything, but it really is a lot of information. And so I will say I have to plug in that program one more time of Beyond Balance because it has everything in a nice, neat package for you where I go over the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus, then the heart space, then the throat, the third eye, and the crown, and show you all of the tools and techniques that I've learned, not only from my own experience, but from Reiki and Native American traditions to help you heal those areas. So if you're looking for those techniques and those practices and those tools, go to the link in my bio and hit the Beyond Balance program because that's exactly why I invented the program and created it in the first place. And that's not a way to gatekeep anything. Um, I know some of you could probably be watching this and saying, well, why didn't you just give us all the answers? It's because it's very nuanced and it depends on what's going on with you independently. So let's say the solar plexus is going through something and maybe it's a lack of confidence. That lack of confidence can come from trauma from your inner child and your childhood or that lack of confidence can happen because you're in a toxic relationship with a romantic partner who is infusing you with a whole bunch of negativity and infusing you with a whole bunch of insecurity and making you feel bad about yourself so that's exactly why I can't give you just a general solid answer I can give you some tips and techniques and tricks to help you out and give you a short answer of course but it really is a lot more nuanced than that and to protect the sacred nature of the techniques that I show you from ancient practices, that's why I've created the program in the first place because I can give you a cheap answer that may or may not help you and then you could probably feel that I'm not credible because whatever advice I give you did not work for your specific thing and that's why I always suggest that you guys get mini personal healing sessions. If you want to know what's going on with you and your individual energy, then I can give you a more accurate answer. Are you fluent in Spanish? Could you do a mini in it? Absolutely not. <laughs> you guys do not want to hear my broken Spanish. <laughs> I'm saving your ears and your brain from that experience. Any other questions that you guys have about your healing journey? Maybe even just sharing some things that have worked for you in the past as well when it comes to health, wealth, and relationships. And today, of course, we're doing collective healing for prosperity, abundance, wealth. Mm -hmm. 
another how can I get started on my spiritual journey raise of hands who is just starting out their spiritual journey let me get a raise of hands see where everyone's at right now who is just starting out on their spiritual journey feeling clueless feeling lost feeling stuck you're wanting to be super committed you want to do these practices every single day you just wish you knew what practices to turn to someone's restarting great restarting okay who is new to their spiritual journey? Who is restarting? Who has no clue what the heck is going on <laughs> in their energy? Okay, so we have a good amount of you guys here. I always say focusing in on your energy centers. So I want what I want every single one of you to do. So Steve-O, Lakin, Molly, Tay, Zyra, Jacqueline, Michaela, uh, not Marcy. Marcy, you've been in it for a minute. Um, everyone else who is just starting in their spiritual journey, I have a free reference for you, okay? This is going to be one of the best introductions that you have to spirituality in general. Why? Because we're talking about a very general topic, which is manifestation. So a lot of people who start in spirituality start in manifestation and then a lot of spiritualists drag you into 369, a lot of spiritualists drag you into journaling, a lot of spiritualists drag you into just visualization, but it's just one small piece of the pie. If you want a more well-rounded pie, go to the link in my bio right now. You can still hear my voice when you tap on my icon here, tap on my picture, tap on my icon, go to my profile, go to the link in my bio, scroll down to free resources and hit chakra codes. Sign up for that masterclass watch that master class yes it is long watch it on 2x speed if you want to and take notes that is going to be a great way for you to start your spiritual journey if you're completely clueless because i go over every single one of the energy centers that you have and i show you what happens when they're blocked what happens when they're overactive or underactive i show you how to manifest using those energy centers so that you have all of the pieces to the puzzle of manifestation without getting scammed or without thinking that all it takes is you closing your eyes, envisioning yourself with a lot of money, opening your eyes and saying, well, where the hell is it, right? So go to that. Not playing around, not joking around, do that right now. And I say that very firmly because a lot of people like to consume, 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 observe, 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 and not take proper action. A lot of issues that I find with people who are just starting out in spirituality, they're confused, they don't know where to go, but also they don't have the discipline or motivation enough to actually try something. It's a free masterclass, go and do it. Now, for those of you who are more intermediate in your journey, maybe you've hired a coach or a, um, a mentor or a practitioner before once, maybe twice. Maybe you're someone who focuses a lot more on meditating every single day. Maybe you focus a lot on journaling every single day. Maybe you exercise every single day. You have some tips, techniques. Maybe you've done some somatic movement, EFT tapping. You follow a lot of spiritual and healer creators. Give me a hands up if you're more of the intermediate intermediate spiritualist or intermediate on your healing journey in general looking for a raise of hands who is intermediate on their healing journey we've got daisy we've got katie we've got marcy we've got isabella we've got tay Stevo, intermediate, Nadia, intermediate. Okay, when you're in an intermediate spot, and this is not only for spirituality or your healing journey, and please hear me, and don't let your cognitive dissonance be triggered with this. This is the same thing that happens in business. This is the same thing that happens when you want to get into a you know bikini body, right? And then you're trying to go to the gym. This is the same thing as if you've got injured and now you have to go to physical therapy. It takes consistency and it takes an investment. And a lot of people don't want to hear this. Same thing in business. You're starting out a new business. You've gotten a couple sales. You're not hitting your monthly goal. Nothing's really consistent. It's hit or miss. You're really confused. You're trying to receive all the information that you possibly can. You've read so many books. You have, again, done all the research that you possibly can, tried different techniques, and you're still kind of like, mm, some of it worked, some of it didn't. I'm not feeling exactly in the flow yet. I'm not feeling like I've gotten to the end result or outcome that I'm looking for yet. 
it's time to make a financial investment. And I say that because when you make that financial investment in someone that you trust or in a product that has already had results or service that's already had results, it will show you what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. So pay someone to help you see from an unbiased perspective, see from an outside in perspective, what it is that you don't know because the same thing goes as if you you know want to have your muscles be relaxed after you have you know six days in a row at the gym and you're trying to massage yourself you can't massage yourself very well on your back you need to ask someone else for help right you need to go and get a massage for with someone who can reach those places that you cannot get because you don't know what you don't know right you just don't know what you don't know so it's very important to have someone take a look at the gaps in between your healing journey to show you this is where you want to go this is where you are this is what you're missing and to highlight that for you that can be done by a quick little consultation i like to do them not through consultations over the phone but through these mini reiki sessions every single mini reiki session i do is technically a consultation where not only do i show you what's going on with you i then begin to heal it right then and there and give you the recommendations to help you along your journey so anyone who is feeling right now that they're in an intermediate spot in their healing journey beyond balance is the way to go and if you're unsure you have reservations you feel that you know there are some objections that you have or things that are holding you back reach out to me and we will discuss it but chances are the reason why you're not investing in someone yet or a product or a service yet is because you don't believe in it all the way you don't know the person well enough you don't trust them enough because maybe you just you know are seeing me for the first time seeing someone for the first time or maybe you have you know bought products and services before you got burned in the past that's why you speak to me that's why i'm always an open door for me to say okay what's really going on a lot of you are held back by price points and by money if you don't have money you don't have money i can't convince you that you have money right that's totally fine get a lesser option so if beyond balance for whatever reason is too much of a price point for you then do something like a mini reiki session do something like a one-on-one -on -one 60 minute session with me over zoom invest in other things that are at a lower ticket price if beyond balance you're like okay I actually feel like I want to do this, let me just save up for it, and then you invest in it, and you're having issues with being disciplined, being consistent, feeling motivated, that's something we could just workshop very easy. But you have to get into the mode of consistency and discipline, following the guidelines, following the advice, and doing the whole entire transformation journey. That's what's going to get you the results that you're looking for. You can't expect a whole done-for-you situation if you're signing up for a course, if you're signing up for mentorship it takes you plugged in to also see the results does that make sense i kind of want to keep it at that if anyone's a lot more advanced who's gotten a couple mentors before they're not fearful of any price points because they know that sometimes the higher ticket price point gets them more benefits if you're someone who has tried many different things but maybe you haven't really tried a lot of reiki maybe you haven't tried a lot of talking communication um, meetings with someone where they're just one-on-one -on -one. maybe you haven't done a lot of workshopping maybe you haven't done a lot of native american traditional healing but you've done other kinds of healings that's where i I would say go to the unblocked program right now that is my most premium program that i have that helps you heal the relationship you have with yourself so that you can heal the relationship that you have with others it also helps you balance work parenthood and your healing journey and there that's a three-month program three months because 90 days it takes 21 days for you to build a habit but i want to make sure that you have a full 90 days to make sure if you have any questions any reservations you're stuck on one module or one week that you have my personal help one-on-one -on -one. so if anyone's feeling very advanced in their healing journey and they're looking for another you know tool in their tool belt i would say unblocked is going to be one of the best options that i have available at this time let me see any questions with what I just said? Because hopefully through that spiel of mine, you guys can understand where you are right now in your healing journey and you know exactly what next step is best for you to take. I'm going to read some of these comments that I missed out on. Did you say something about a free masterclass too? Yes, my free masterclass 
is in the link in my bio called Chakra Codes. I also have another free resource for those of you who are stay at home or work from home or nine to five moms who are trying to balance their healing journey with parenthood, right? So healing journey, parenthood and work, just like I was talking about the Unblocked program, that's like the precursor. So if anyone's interested in the Unblocked program, get the free um, work from home thrive guide. If any of you guys are interested in beyond balance, start off with the free chakra codes masterclass. Those are two free resources that lead into my other programs so that you guys can have a base and knowledge of understanding of how I can help you and give you some free advice and free benefit first and foremost before you decide to actually financially invest into something with me. Can spirituality and religion coexist within someone? Yes, absolutely. Thousand percent. I feel like I got a bug bite. Give it a little love. Give it a little Reiki. Perfect. I'm saving for the beyond balance. Beautiful. Very good. Any questions that you guys have while you still have me here about your journey in spirituality, about your journey in healing? Maybe there's something very specific that you want to heal and you want to see if one of my programs is best for um, you and giving you that solution that you're looking for. Please don't shy away from having a conversation while you have me right here and right now. Let me see my list just in case I miss anybody. When someone comes uh, negatively, what is the best way to immediately protect and block this energy? So if you're doing your cleansing, your energy cleansing every single day, if you know how to heal your energy as well, that is already going to protect you from this experience in general. The more that you are healing your own energy, the more that you are energy cleansing yourself, it prevents this from even happening to you. But in the off chance that something does come to you negatively, you actually won't even react to it in the same way anymore because your energy is already worked on. So it's like, like attracts like. If you are someone who doesn't energy cleanse, you don't energy heal yourself, you're constantly aggravated at the world, you're someone who's bitter, you're someone who's uh, resentful of a lot of things, you're someone who's jealous and envious of a lot of things, you get angry very easily, you're gonna attract that same thing. And so someone can literally do the smallest thing and you're gonna go off on the and react so much but if you already had your own set point and standard of peace of bliss of harmony and balance no matter what anyone says you'll be like oh that's a you thing that's not a me thing because i know my energy i know that i'm not that negative i know that i'm not that angry i know that i'm not that frustrated so whatever it is that you got going on that you're trying to project onto me it's going to bounce right off because i understand that that's a you thing and not a me thing and because your energy is already protected by you doing the energy healing and energy cleansing and strengthening that energetic field whatever could brush off on you that you would react to previously bounces right back off and then what happens if something does stick on you energy cleanse and it evaporates all over again you know what i'm saying so the more easily you are annoyed or reactive towards other people and other things the less you actually know about your own energy People have just walked away, but then there's some people who don't allow you to walk away. There's some people who want to drag things on. There's some people who want to make you feel like how they feel because misery loves company and they won't stop. So you also have to keep in mind what your boundaries are and how can you communicate those boundaries in a way where you're feeling guilt-free? How can you communicate those boundaries in a way that verbally protects you as well? And if you need to physically protect yourself, of course, walking away could be an option. If you are in an environment, in a home or a workplace where people are negative, you can't just walk away. You can't, right? So it takes you, again, understanding your own energy to not be consumed by someone else's or to not absorb anyone else's. Want to connect deeper to my ancestors. Um, what do I, which one do I do? What do you mean which one? Like just what practice? There's many, many, many different practices for you to connect to your ancestors, but if you're talking about my specific programs, the one that's gonna help you, actually both of my programs help you connect with your ancestors because when we get to the part of spirituality, um, which is very prevalent in all of my healing 
programs and courses, um, you're gonna know how to do that with both, but I would start you off with the Beyond Balance program. We get into the physical, emotional, and mental bodies first, and then when we get to the spiritual body, you're gonna learn how to connect to your higher self, your inner being, your whole entire spiritual team, and who's included in your spiritual team? Your ancestors. It's very important, and I do mention this in that program, that when you're communicating with your ancestors, you're only communicating with the ancestors who are here for your highest good and that resonate with your moral standing. That way you don't get any ancestors that don't like each other, and then they're trying to help you or don't like the way that you're living, and then try to leave you astray. You're only going to be venerating and talking to and receiving guidance and protection from the ancestors who are here to serve you for your highest good. And again, the program that's going to help you with that is Beyond Balance, even though all my programs talk about this. How can you prevent absorbing negative energy for family members? Same exact thing, Zyda. Same exact thing that I just answered. So if you guys do not know how to cleanse your energy, Go to the link in my bio, click protect your energy, and watch that whole entire video. And notate. It shows you how to use the five elements of earth, fire, water, air, and spirit to cleanse your energy, which protects your energy. When you cleanse your energy, your energetic field gets stronger, it becomes more fortified, and then it starts to expand. So then you don't absorb anything anymore. But if you're not energy cleansing yourself, your energetic field gets weaker and it starts to leak out your energy and becomes stickier, if you will, for all of that negativity. And then it gets absorbed into your being. And the more that you're not cleansing yourself, the more that you're not healing yourself, you get more sick. And then all of those, you know, energies of negativity create the blockages in your energy centers, which then manifests into a whole other slew of things. Thank you, Melody. I'll be reaching out soon. This has been so healing and confirming. Beautiful, Daisy. I'm glad. Very, very glad. Sweet. I need to feel free. My biggest fear is being stuck or feeling claustrophobic. Um, so feeling free, a lot of that freedom could be a lack of connection to your spiritual body. So um, that and a bit of your emotional body as well, I would say. Um, but it depends on in which way that you're feeling stuck and claustrophobic. Are you feeling physically stuck and claustrophobic? Are you feeling a mentally, uh, emotionally stuck and claustrophobic? Are you feeling mentally stuck and claustrophobic? Or are you feeling like you're not really fulfilling your purpose or your passion? You have no idea what your mission is. So in life, you're just feeling, um, generally speaking, very stuck and claustrophobic that you just don't know the direction you're supposed to go. You have no foresight. You don't, you can't predict what's next for you. That would be more of the spiritual you said all of the above beyond balance hey beyond balance is the program for you definitely take a moment to go to the link in my bio read up on that read some of the testimonials that i put on there i just put some new testimonials i'm trying to put more they're rather large i'm going to work on the sizing of those testimonials for that program but if you're interested in actually helping yourself get out of this I always say that it costs more to not heal yourself than it costs to get a program to help you heal yourself, to take healing into your own hands, truly, truly. So that's what I have for you guys. If you have any questions um, outside of the live stream, feel free to either email me or DM me here on TikTok or even over on Instagram. I love you guys very much. Thank you for sharing this time and this live stream with me and trusting me with your energy and guiding you today. I will see you in either one of my programs or in the next live stream. So see you later. Bye.